Hello everyone. Today we are going to see how can we use Firebase Cloud function. In order to follow the video, you have to do some free software installation works. Just go to this site, Node.js.org. If you already installed Node.js in your computer, you can continue this tutorial. If you don't have the Node.js in your computer, just go to this site and download and install the Node.js. If you don't know how to install the software, I provide the link in the description. Just click the link and see how you can install Node.js in your PC. So this is my Firebase account. So in this account, you can see here, I already created one project that's called Firebase Features. If you, you, you don't know how to create a project, just go through my last video. So I already created one project that's called Firebase Features. You can see in the left bottom, there are one option called function. This is called Firebase function. So in default, you can't use Firebase function. So in order to use the Firebase function, you have to upgrade the plan, the pricing plan. You can see here in default, the Firebase plan called Spark. So in order to use this feature, you have to upgrade. So I just click the upgrade. You can see here, Spark is a free plan. Blaze is a pay as you go plan. So I so if you want to activate the Blaze plan, just select the plan and give the card details so in my case i already already activated cloud function into another project so i just click get started so in order to use the firebase cloud function i have to do this step i just copy this code and i come to that I created one VS Code project. I click the terminal. So in the terminal, I clear that. So we have to paste the command which is provided in the Firebase console. But in my case, I already installed. If you are a new user, you just have to install this Firebase tools. click continue so set of functions so first of all before set up the function we have to log in so for the firebase login just type firebase login so in my case I already log in using my mail if you don't log in in the firebase account it will navigate to the firebase and get the credential and come back to the BS code for in my case I already log in so next step I am going to type firebase in it so here I am going to initialize firebase project so I just enter from here we have to choose which function we are going to use for that I am using my arrow key here and this is a function then I press press the space bar so you can see the function is selected so I just hit enter after that it's asking use an exiting project you can see here in my firebase firebase console I only activated pay as you, pay as you go plan only for the food on Android payment project which is here food on Android payment so I again come back here I click use an exiting project so if you don't have any project just create a new project but in my case I created and already provide the card details so I choose I am going to choose firebase exiting firebase project so here I have to choose which project I want to initialize the firebase function so here as I told before firebase Android payment 
for here I am going to use JavaScript and I just click yes and it's asking do you want to install dependency with npm so npm is nothing not project manager I just click yes the installation process is starting so you can see here in the left side the function and our firebase cloud function the basic project is initialized so I just expand the function you can see here this is an index I just click the index index is a, our base file so there are one default coding here I just select that one and uncomment it you can see here there are one basic function for the get request so the export the hello world hello world is a function then they are going to access through the HTTPS then on request in the response they are sending hello from firebase for now I am going to save like hello world in the logs if they are normally people using logs for the see the bugs in the production so this is fine so now I am going to type firebase deploy after I type the firebase deploy this project going to host in the firebase function you can see here initially it don't have nothing so after it's initialized and deployed we can see one function will update here so firebase deploy is completed so I am going to the firebase console I am going to restart I am going to refresh now so you can see here the function name is hello world which is this one and we hosted our function basic function so I just copy this one in order to get the re response from the get request we can use the browser but I am going to use a postman to get a request I just paste the link which is in, in the HTTP request I just click send you can see here hello world so it is working so we just go and paste the link in the browser and see whether it is working or not whether it is it working successfully so we successfully deploy our the basic hello world function into the firebase cloud